So over the weekend, I'm going to be working on um, practicing painting flowers um, inspired by these books. So today I just did um, practicing painting. I don't know what these flowers are called, but I got some reference from the um, internet, of course. And, um, and I was just practicing, you know, you you know, focus on negative um, techniques um, and um, use some washes. I mean, even took the board a bit so that the the paint could run down so I'm trying to be very mindful of what how I'm painting I think it looks very gorgeous I, I posted this on Instagram already and the, and the response is very very positive so this is what I've done today tomorrow I'm going to be doing another painting this one's going to be slightly more involved in um, textures like using salt cream film and whatever tech whatever helps bring out the textures a little bit because that would be really cool. I mean, I was going to use salt. I was, I was going to run downstairs to get some salt, but I actually quite like it. Just clear wash. It's almost like water effect wash. It's quite loop. It's quite like loop like like liquid like kind of um you know appearance. But actually, we really, I like this style of painting. I did want to improve my um backgrounds on in flowers. I know I could put a lot of flowers in my backgrounds for my portrait painting. But I think I want to start focusing more on trying to bring out the flower colour, bring out that background, make it more dynamic in my um, uh, watercolour paintings. So yeah, this is um, painted on Cassart brand watercolour paper. It's not like, it's a mid-range kind of um, paper, but it's great for practising watercolours. I mean, it does a slightly same job. Uh, I need to get some more um that other paper is called the church the church mill buck buck and fold it's a handmade paper but it's really good quality paper so i'm practicing on this paper at the moment so uh this is nearly finished i'll show you the one <coughs> that i this is a complete new one i'm using so you can see that you get a lot of um paper out of it you can you know, very thick very sturdy paper so I'm going to treat this like a sketchbook where I do a lot of practices on it. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. So yeah, I like the, how it's all went. I had to really focus on the negative spaces and be very light, almost like don't overly paint because a, a, a lot of times I overpaint in my... Um, a lot of times sometimes. So I had to really think about leaving some spaces just let it almost fade into the to the uh, paper and it's actually quite nice especially this one this was a it was just i just scribbled um i just laid on some blue and, this, and also with water and it just has this beautiful effect the key um thing i noticed with painting flowers that as long as it has a key features like it's um i'm not very good with flower terms but you know the key features on this body and the colours of course then it doesn't really matter if it's pure rep representation of flower so yeah it's all went well you can actually identify the flower if you know what the flower is called but it actually looks really really nice I really you know I had to start looking at photos of flowers that, from websites and stuff and you get a lot of good ideas I was searching for uh, flowers on for the winter season, like flowers that bloom in winter season or winter type flower season, and you get a lot of good. There's a lot of flowers that they they obviously that came up, and I was like, oh yeah, it could be nice for the themes. Like each season, I want to look at different flowers, and you know, I mean, it talks about it in this book as well about about seasons, like, and that's the whole idea really. That like spring season. So in each, in in this in this chapter, like you've got spring, and it goes all the way to winter. So this is the section of winter, and it gives you ideas of what flowers that they mainly focus for winter um, themes. It's a really good book. The one there's actually another one called um, this book has a there's another book by Anne Broccoli. Let me see the author's name. I think she's also I think a, a painter as well. Yeah, she's the artist who make who create these um, paintings. That she also did the landscape one, and the landscape one is a very good one as well. I wanted to borrow that again, but 
apparently they didn't have available in the library the last time I checked. So I'm hoping that is re is available again. But yeah, they had this in the library, but luckily I have my own copy. So I want to get another one of um of the landscape one.